Thank you, Mr. President. The final citation is that of Air Vice Marshal Isia
President, I'm highly delighted and honored this morning to be before you, having been decorated with my new rank of general, and to say that on behalf of the service chiefs, we are grateful to the Almighty God for the health, and to you, Mr. President, for the honor and trust that you have bestowed on us. Let me, on behalf of the service chiefs, inform Mr. President that the mandate which you've given us is very clear, and which is to do everything possible to address all the security challenges facing us as a nation. We know that the inevitable, and which of course I'd like to use this opportunity to present to Nigerians, that the inevitable is that Nigeria we have peace again. Mr. President, on behalf of the service chiefs, I'd like to pledge the unalloyed loyalty of the members of the Armed Forces of Nigeria to you, Mr. President, and to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We will, based on the mandate and the trust that you have bestowed on us, do everything in our power to address all the issues appertaining to insecurity in the country, working in concert with other security agencies and, of course, the ministries, department and agencies in that regard. Let me once again thank you, Mr. President, for this honor, and thank you, Nigerians. God bless you, sir. For those that have been confirmed by the ceremony, the decoration in front of their spouses. Is a further confidence loudly expressed on them on behalf of the nation. And to press on the insecurity the country is in and that the nation look forward to them for rapid relief. During our four hour security meeting, I have taken the responsibility as commander in chief for you to go out into the field and secure the country. I have accepted responsibility for your action in the field. It's up to you to identify your competent officers, irrespective of seniority and FIFA qualification, and deploy them to make sure that we secure this country. We have got a few weeks to do that because by the rainy season, we expect people to develop confidence and go back to the land so that we don't get in trouble by being away from the field and therefore unable to produce enough food for the nation. We all look forward to you to perform, and I, as the CNC, I'm making you 100%, and I expect you to effectively deploy your officers and men to secure the country. I thank you very much, and I wish all of us the best of luck. Thank you very much. Nigerians are expecting us to bring about peace and security in concert with other security agencies. That we will do. We can't live in fear and we ensure that Nigerians, whatever bring fear to them before now, will be a thing of the past. 
How do you intend to achieve that? Well, that is the trump card, which I will now leave it to you. What will you be doing differently from your friends? Well, I'd rather say what we will not do. What we will not do is to give instructions to our subordinates and not do the same. So by extension, we will command the troops based on the expectations that we have of them and we will do according to the expectations that we have of them too. So the next hundred so days are going to be in recent negotiations that led to the release of school children for their doctors. Peace and security is not just the security of the borders alone, but it comes with having to bridge, build bridges across, across various divides. We, as members of the armed forces, will never in any way demand the peace and security of our nation in the hands of the terrorists. Rather, it is we that will determine the peace and not for us to leave it in the hands of the terrorists. Are you, are you considering changing strategies? Strategies are not, men, are not sacrosanct. Of course, there are dynamics that we enable one to begin to look at what needs to be reviewed. And that's precisely what we're doing currently. And we'll review various strategies and then, of course, come up with new ones to be able to meet the demands of the current realities. So what should the, the president do is in the next 100 days? Which one do I answer now? Okay, the president said next two weeks. What do you expect? That's a marching order. That's a that's a marching order that the president has given to us, and we are going to work assiduously to achieve that. And the expectations of Nigeria. Nigeria the next days. Days. No doubt, next hundred days is not as important as today. I believe that as members of the armed forces, working in concert with the rest of of, of uh, the security agencies, we will bring Mr. President's expectation to bear in terms of our, our tax. But let me also let you know that the inevitable is that Nigerians will indeed experience peace and security across the land. Congratulations. Sir. Thank you very much.